Hey everybody, Bo Edisted here, owner and manager of TechShed Company here in Miami, Oklahoma. Yeah, there's a Miami in Oklahoma. We're located in the northeast corner, servicing the four state area. That's Kansas, Arkansas, and Joplin, Missouri. Those are the areas that we venture into. Now, as far as what we service, we service anything technology, including home theater, home theater audio, lighting, video editing, computers, network, servers, you name it, we do it. Now, I have some really exciting news for all of you out there who have a home theater projector or wanting to get in the theater world or just dreaming about having that big screen to wow the people, you know? We have a new screen. A couple of my colleagues and I have been working on this screen for the past couple of months and we finally got it down to the perfect image for ambulance and medium ambient light rejection. Okay, kind of weird to think about medium ambient light rejection screen. Isn't the projector producing a light and a picture? Some would say, yeah, that, that, that doesn't make sense. But this screen can do it, I'm telling you. It doesn't block the projector light. What it does block is light coming from different directions other than straight forward to it, okay? So it's able to produce the image keep the contrasts and the lights and the colors, but at the same time, block some of the ambient light that's trying to get onto it, okay? So take a look at the video. I'm gonna be talking way through it, describing what it is. We do offer these on our website. We also offer them, you know, if you have a specific size that you want, just give us a call. We'll take a look at it. My information is in the description down below, or you can check out our website here in just a little bit. Okay, anyways, enjoy the video, have a great time. So here's our screen, this is our new MX-1. It's a silver color, but kind of dark, like gun smoke metal gray. Here's a better shot for you. You can kind of see the overall, it's a 96 inch screen. And I'm gonna be shooting this uh, video footage on the screen using a Dell 1610 HD DLP 3400 lumens projector. And the video input is gonna be through our HDMI port, plugging directly into a PS4. So let's go ahead and power this thing on. Now, just to show you real quick, this is not 4K. It's 1920 by 1080 60 hertz, and the color, is set to standard lighting and contrast. So let me go ahead and log on in. Um, I'll be doing this in my living room. The windows are open and the lighting is kind of bright for the area. But uh, you can take a look here um, and you can see directly over to the screen. So let's log in real quick and we'll load up some video files. I apologize, I'm still learning how to uh, use the new YouTube update on the uh, app here and uh, I am still trying to figure out how to navigate around it. <laughs> so this screen actually does a really good job. Um, as you can see, it does pretty good just loading up the menus. There's a little bit of a glare coming from the light area. Now, I wouldn't say this screen is 100% light rejecting. I'd say it's more like a medium ambient light projection uh, screen. So it blocks out most of all the lighting, but if you had like a flashlight and you shined on it, obviously it's gonna uh, overcompensate the screen. But here it is. Um, we're gonna play some 4K footage for you. Uh, through here and you can see what it looks like. Now this projector is capable of producing 1.75 billion colors, so it's pretty close to UHD quality as far as color. Now in real life, I, um, the screen is a little brighter, I apologize, um, it's just how the camera ISO is reading the video footage. I am shooting this on a Canon Rebel ESO Ti, so I uh, 
um, apologize, it is recording at best as it can do, which is a 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little bit more blues and greens. Um, that was just kind of an introduction. Here it is again uh, with blues and the greens. It does a great job displaying the colors as what they're supposed to without changing much of the, uh, uh, how should we say, overall uh, colors. Now I will be showing you another test here soon with the uh, blinds pulled down. It's still fairly light in the room because I, I don't have blinds for the smaller windows, but you'll see here in just a, a second. But Now we do make these screens here in Miami, Oklahoma. Um, we do them in our little store. Now um, there are Variations of sizes, we do them from 200 inches to 80 inches. It's entirely up to you. We do make them here though, uh, and um, we can have the option of shipping them to other places, even outside of the United States. So here's a little football action for you, for those of you who like football. Um, lots of, uh, I, I have to tell you, this screen's awesome for during football and sports season. Just beautiful colors, huge screen. I mean, just huge, and you don't have to have the lights off, you can keep them on. It's really nice, really nice. All right, and then just to show you how sharp the picture is and how good the blacks and the whites are, I did this little footage here. I'm zoomed in on the screen. I apologize for right there where you see the um, camera is trying to adjust its ISO and we're getting a little bit of bleed over. But, and you saw there, there was a car reflection. But when it does adjust, you can see how sharp the blacks are and how the sharp the whites are. There's no bleed over. It's a beautiful picture, beautiful color. Here it is, blinds are closed, except for the little ones. There's still lots of light in the room. It's not really a controlled atmosphere, but take a look at this, okay? Just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Again, 4K footage, um, you see right there. I mean, it's like looking at an LCD uh, TV with LED backlighting, only it's at 90 eight inches beautiful picture beautiful quality it makes speaks for itself so if you're interested take a look at us uh, so if you're interested take a look at us at www.techshedco.com